Respected viewers of Padre Shin, we once again welcome you in our program, Background of Quranic Revelations. In this program, we talk about beautiful verses of Quran. We select maybe one verse of the Holy Quran and we talk about its background. We talk about why was it revealed, if there was any sabab or reason of its nozul revelation. Insha'Allah, today we'll talk about a beautiful verse from Holy Quran, but be with us from start to end. Before we proceed towards the topic of the day, let's make a few good intentions. Now, Sheikh Tariqat, Amir of Ahl Sunnah, Hazrat Allama Maulana Muhammad Ilyas Attar Qadri, Damat Barakatuhum al Aliyah, has given us a beautiful mindset that we should make good intentions because it is a saying of the Prophet ﷺ, intention of a believer is better than his actions. I make this intention inshallah I will present this program for the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You can make this intention you will be with us from start to end you'll remember what you learn act upon and pass this knowledge on to others too. It's always a good idea to invite people towards righteousness. Ask your family members you can also come, sit in front of Madani Channel's TV screen and watch this program. Inshallah, you will learn a lot. Respected brothers and viewers of Madani Channel, today we have selected ayah for you, and that is from Surah Al-Baqarah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Holy Quran, Ya amanu la ra'ina wa Translation from Kanzul Iman. O believers, do not say to the Prophet Muhammad Ra'ina and submit as so unzurna, meaning that please grant us your attention so that we understand well. And O Muslims, Listen attentively to his discourse from the beginning. And for the disbelievers is a painful torment. This is ayah of Quran from Surah Baqarah, verse 104. Respect views of Madani Shil. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has instructed believers to respect Rasulullah alayhi salatu was salam to utmost level. Ta'zeem of Mustafa, respect and taqeer of Mustafa Karim alayhi salatu salam has been instructed by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. Now here, even the slightest of the meaning a word can give which could go to wrong meaning, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has even forbidden to use that very word and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has replaced that word with another word so that there remains not a slightest possibility of going towards wrong meaning. This is the adab. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala himself is teaching to the believers. Respect your viewers, nobody. If someone is a king who talks about the etiquettes and manners of the king's court the people around him, his ministers, other people, they t teach to the people who attend his court that these are the protocols, these are the manners, these are the etiquettes you should bear in your mind when you're coming to the court of this king or you're meeting any king or queen or any prime minister or president. There are certain set manners and etiquettes. But who tells? People tell. But here, Allah Akbar, the etiquettes and manners, respect, ta'zeem and taqeer of Mustafa Karim alayhi salatu wasalam is mentioned by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala himself. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is instructing the believers what word to use and which not to use. Now what is 
the shani nuzul what is the sabab of nuzul what is the reason for the revelation of this very verse we'll talk about this today inshallah it is mentioned in suratul jinan that rasulullah sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallam whenever he alayhi salatu was salam used to teach the sahaba ikram and ibridwan companions and although rasulullah sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallam speech was very much clear and people could understand it very well and uh, subhanallah uh, to the extent it was such fasi and balig eloquent speech of rasul alayhi salatu was salam and very clear that even if someone wanted to count the words of rasul alayhi salatu was salam he could do so right but yet sometimes if sahaba ikram ali ibn ridwan they could not uh, understand and they want it uh, that rasulullah alayhi salatu salam may pardon them and rasulullah alayhi salatu salam may repeat then they would use a word ra'ina ya rasulullah and what is the meaning of this that ya rasulullah alayhi salatu salam uh, we beg your pardon if you could please repeat what you have said respect to us this word ra'ina in arabic language has a positive meaning as i said uh, i beg your pardon if you could repeat please so but in the dictionary of jews this had a different meaning which had a negative meaning and possessed an element of disrespect in that so jews they started uh, saying this word ra'ina thinking of the negative meaning in their mind Hazrat Sayyidina Sa'id bin Mu'adh radiyallahu ta'ala an he was aware of the terms of Jews once when he radiyallahu an heard this word from Jews what he said o oh, enemies of Allah may curse be upon you and he showed a very strong expression of anger in front of them so in response to that you said your own companions who sit in the court of rasul alayhi salatu wasalam they use the same word why are you angry upon us so that's what they responded sayyidna sa'd bin mu'az radiyallahu ta'ala an became grieved and he radiyallahu an went in the court of rasul alayhi salatu wasalam and then this was the context and this was the background when this very ayah was revealed when allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said to the believers that you should not use word ra'ina instead use unzurna and what is the meaning of this subhanallah please grant us your attention so that we understand well respected viewers this is the adab allah subhanahu wa ta'ala taught to the believers even a word which contains two meanings one is positive and one may have the element of negativity in it muslims are prohibited to use that this is the ta'zim and tawqeed respect of rasul alayhi salatu wasalam reverence of the court of rasulullah alayhi salatu wasalam is being mentioned and from all words sahaba ikram they started using word unzurna subhanallah respect to viewers there are certain points which we can understand about the shan of mustafa status of mustafa maqam of mustafa karim alayhi salatu wasalam and we come to know that respecting anbiya ikram is for the obligatory act and even one should abandon that very word which may contain an element of disrespect in it and hukm e shara islamic ruling is also in this regard the same that if one word contains two meanings one is positive and one is negative and when somebody says that negative element also comes in one's mind then such word should not be uttered for allah and his messenger sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallam and further allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said wasma'u listen attentively this is another taqeed this point has been stressed upon 
At first place, listen with concentration, with utmost concentration, attentively when you're present in the blessed court of Mustafa Karim alayhi salatu wasalam, so that you don't end up missing anything and you don't need reputation. Allahu Akbar. Another adab, another etiquette, another manner which is mentioned by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in this ayah of Quran. Respective viewers. Further, not only this, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also mentioned about those non-believers, those they had the mindset of disrespect in their minds when they were using a word, Allahu Akbar. What Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said regarding them and for the disbelievers is a painful torment. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave the news of punishment and that is painful punishment. Respect you, of Qadr Nishan, this is Quran. And that's how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala himself is teaching the etiquettes, manners of the court of Mustafa Karim alayhi salatu wa salam. Allahu Akbar. How to even utter words and what words are better to use. This is even to this extent we have been taught and guided by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in Quran. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us understanding and tawfiq to realize the true status of Mustafa Karim alayhi salatu wasalam and to love Rasulullah alayhi salatu wasalam from the bottom of our heart. And if you would like to learn adab, if you would like to learn respect, then you should sit before those ulama haq, those ulama and scholars of Islam, they possess love of Rasul alayhi salatu wasalam. They have the respect and they have the understanding of true reverence and respect of Rasul alayhi salatu wasalam. And then inshallah, you will receive that beauty of love in your hearts too inshallah. Because it is fard to do ta'zeem of Mustafa Karim alayhi salatu wasalam, to respect Rasulullah alayhi salatu wasalam. And the choice of words should also be very much perfect. When we use in the court of Mustafa Karim alayhi salatu wasalam. Alhamdulillah, you can watch Madani channel. You can have the suhbat of ulama of Madani channel, Amir of Ahli Sunnah. Alhamdulillah, every uh, Saturday there is a program called Madani Muzakara. You can watch that. Sometimes there is a program of tafsir, sometimes there is a program of uh, hadith, there is a program regarding the uh, Shah of Mustafa Karim alayhi salatu wasalam. Watch them. This will surely increase your knowledge, not only in knowledge, but it will also increase love of Mustafa Karim alayhi salatu wasalam because knowledge alone cannot benefit. Adab and respect is also important. And for that, we need to have the suhbat of awliya. We need to have suhbat of pious ones. We need to have suhbat of ulama and ulama in haq. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us true understanding of Quran and true status of Mustafa sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. That's all for today. Inshallah, we'll be back with another beautiful topic in this program called Background of the Quranic Revelations. Until then, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.